Hi, I'm Kevin Kodas, and I'm sponsored by Legacy Disc and Upper Park Design. Uh, this is going to be an in the bag for my 2016 start of the season. First, I'm going to talk to you about my Rebel bag. Um, I got the blue. This is the version 3. It holds about 30 discs, but you'll see that I only have like 25 in there. Um, it's vertical storage. Uh, it's super lightweight bag. It never falls over. Uh, it's made out of really great material. It's waterproof. Um, this zips down, kind of rolls down into this pocket down here. It's elastic. And there's your disc. Um, it's got two pockets that are completely identical on the side. This first one has a 2X raincoat in it. Uh, I'm a big guy, and when I'm on the course, I, I get a little too hot. I need somewhere for it to go. Um, it's got two drink holders. Holds two 32 ounce Gatorades. Um, super padded, sits really well on your back. Um, I'll start talking about my disc. First are my putters. These are two wizards. One's for jump putting, it's more beat in. This one is uh, brand new, it's for inside the circles. Uh, I've been using these since I started playing disc golf and I'm very confident with them. That's why I don't use yet legacy discs. Next is a driving putter. This is an Icon Clutch, it's 167. Holds any line you put it on. Uh, turnover, straight, hyzer, um, very reliable. Next disc in my bag is a first run suspect from Dynamic Disc. Um, it's a very consistent mold. Uh, I recommend trying one. Next are the mid ranges. This is a Legend Gauge, 180 grams. Pretty domey. I got it from Moose. Uh, it's stiff, holds any line you put it on. Heiser finishes Heiser straight, finishes straight. And Heiser seems to pan out and finish flat so it doesn't roll away. Super underrated mold in Legacy's lineup. The next two discs are First Run Ghost. One's black, one's blue. This one seems to be straight. Um, finishes left still about 300, 350. Uh, not not nearly as dramatic as the blue. This one's been in my bag for a really long time and it still finishes hard by. Uh, the plastic run is great and super stiff and flat runs a ghost. Great mold. Highly recommend trying these if you're new to Legacy. The next disc in my bag is a first run Patriot. Uh, twin tower stamped, stiff, 174. This again is kind of like the gauge but longer. Holds any line. Anheuser, it's going to hold that line finish flat. Straight, finishes straight. Heiser, I can heiser flip it, comes up, finishes straight. Next disc in my bag is a Slime Legend Patriot. Uh, it's domey, super glidey. This one I can actually throw on heiser, flips up, goes straight, and finishes heiser. Uh, I'm still getting to learn it, but this will become one of my favorite discs in my bag. Next is a special blend rival. I got this from Chad at Heritage Disc. It's 165, it's a first run. Super flippy, so I gotta throw it on hyzer. It pushes straight and finishes left about 450. Um, I'm really starting to like these. This disc has been in my bag the longest. It's a Sparkle 173 rival. Um, it's beat up. I throw it for control shots, about 300. If I need it to land in a certain zone on the course, it's going to do that every single time. Next disc is a special blend second run, 174. These are heavy. This does exactly what you want a rival to do. Go straight, finishes left. Um, I'm really getting to learn this disc and I, I'm really starting to like it. Next disc in my bag is a Aqua first run rival. It's 175. This disc is really it gets thrown a lot in my bag. Um, I throw it with a little bit of hyzer, flips up, finishes hard left. Uh, I really love this disc. Next disc is a second run gunmetal rival. Super overstable. Most overstable rival you're going to find on the market. Uh, it's team stamped. You see some of my throwers are team stamped. Uh, Freddie at Legacy Disc hooked me up and uh, team stamped a lot of my throwers for me. So thank you Freddie, you're the man. Next is a Champion Firebird. It's 167, it's stiff, 
It's a Firebird. Finishes left. When the enemy comes out, it'll be out of my bag. The next four discs in my bag are all outlaw. The blue second run, 169, is flippy. If you know me, and you know how highly I talk about these discs, they're like a first run beat up destroyer out of the box. It's, uh, it's amazing. Highly recommend trying any lightweight outlaws. The next two, one's a legend, one's a first run icon. Pretty similar, I'm just trying to figure out which one I'm gonna end up throwing the most. Probably gonna end up being this first run icon. Uh, they're both pretty similar. Next is a test run, Pinnacle Outlaw. This disc is uh, super reliable. Straight, finishes left hard, stiff. Uh, I love this disc. The next two are both Pinnacle Cannons. This is an Aqua. This is a 168, it's a bomber. Um, the next disc is a Pinnacle Cannon again. For this disc on the market, uh, they flip up, pan right, finish hard left. They bomb. If you're trying to get extra distance, throw these. The next disc is a first run Icon Rampage. It's flippy, uh, flippy for a rampage. Flips up, goes straight, finishes hard left. Last but not least, two Aqua second run Rampages. Super stiff, super overstable. If you throw it hard, you can get that negative one turn and it finishes left. Last but not least, this is my Mini. I uh, got it from Ben Vosper at DJ w Disc Golf Woodworks. Um, he's part of Team Legacy. The craftsmanship's amazing, and this is my favorite disc golf gift I've ever received. I'd like to say thanks to Legacy Disc and Upper Park Design, and as always, play with that.